Hey, how's it going, my friends? It is Marlon Gibbons here, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, today, I want to talk about something very specific, um, and then again, not so not so specific. So let me just confuse you right out of the gate. Um, success is something that can have a lot of different meanings. It can mean so many different things to each one of us. Uh, and I want to mention this first, that the, the video is not about success, but it's an important component because I think to give you more context in what I'm going to talk about, you need to define what success means to you. Uh, and it, as I said, I think it means so many different things to each one of us. It's not necessarily limited to you know, how much green you have in your bank account. Although, sure, it, it can be that too. Um, but not everybody is driven simply by the dollar. So, you know, we look at athletes and, you know, they compete in, in tournaments and championships or even the Olympics. And I would call that successful. Or let's get a little closer to home and look at, you know, musicians. Musicians that, that tour, you know, city to city or, or even country to country or at least used to tour and you know and they impact people with their music and they they maybe help someone get through a breakup or or they you know help someone drive through this um, well drive through rush hour or, or drive through a workout at the gym you know I, I would call that success personal success has always been or at least my idea of success and it's changed over the years but as I learn new things I kind of have a different perspective on it but my personal idea of success is just to be able to do this for a living, create music that is, and balance that with family and, and health and just get to, you know, get to enjoy life. I mean, that's what's important to me. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not driving a hundred thousand dollar vehicle. Um, I'm not living in a mansion, <laughs> I'm not jet setting to, you know, these, these crazy tropical islands, but I live comfortably and I get to create music for a living. That's my success. Um, maybe your success is to get your very first TV placement, or maybe it's to hook up, connect with, uh, you know, uh, a notable publisher or somebody, um, that can help you get your music license. That's, it's a goal, but it, it, you could call that, you know, once it's achieved, you could call that success. So what this video is really about is what it takes, what the things, what the key elements are to get you your success. And no matter what your version of success is, what I think are, are the, the one key thing, the one thing that stands out above everything else, but a bunch of things that help you get success. And I'm not talking about just simply, you know, good practices. And so you're welcome to skip ahead and, and see what I'm talking about, but you're gonna miss out on what's really important here. And as I said, all these things together is what gives you the best chances. So I wanna underline these other things as well. The first thing would be knowledge. Um, you know, knowing how the industry works and just being well informed. And if you know, how the industry works, who's doing what, how things are done, processes. Um, it, it informs your decision making and you waste less time because you go down the right paths. I did a lot of going down the wrong paths when I started because I had no resources. I really had no, no guidance in the beginning. So knowledge, educate yourself as much as you possibly can. Learn about, you know, who's doing what and how they're doing it. Just as much knowledge as you can soak in. Don't don't just kind of focus in on only one little bit. Just be a sponge. Tools, specifically gear and instruments and plugins and software and computers and speaker, all that stuff. I'm just echoing what so many people have said before me, but it's true. You don't need tens of thousands of dollars in gear. I'm really happy with everything I have and yes, I buy gear all the time and but it's important not to use it as a crutch in, in thinking that you need that, you know, $3,000 compressor um, to get you to the next level or, or things like that. It's really not. It's 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 up here. It's your your IP. It's your it's your ideas and, and your um, execution in the end. Relationships. Um, super important kind of goes without saying 
Um, but they don't even have to be like, you know, buddy, buddy, you know, knowing somebody on the inside. Um, of course, that certainly is, is a great opportunity, but you can have a professional relationship with, you know, anybody, a, a music soup or a editor, a publisher, whoever. But those relationships are important as opposed to just throwing your music out there and, and not knowing who's you know, receiving it, screening it, uh, processing it, who's doing the metadata, who's, who's, who's got the final say on, on you know, um, whether your music gets accepted or, or published or licensed. Relationships are really important. And if you can develop them, um, you know, show whoever it is that you're, you're working with, that you bring value to the table and you want to help them and, and go forward together, uh, relationships super important is knowing what's going on in the industry what's what's trending what's um happening what's relevant what's needed but even more so than that take that a step further knowing what is going to be needed so for example you know we know when elections are going to happen uh, we know when there's big um you know sports events so like you know the olympics or you know the super bowl or um you know, anything like that the, the playoff series we we know when that stuff happens uh, and of course music gets used all through those things um find out who the publishers are who's providing music to a lot of these networks and, and, and so forth but the point is get ahead of the game don't wait until a brief comes out and says do you have any high energy you know uh, tracks for sports that kind of vibe get ahead of it if you know it's coming another example would be any holiday whether it's valentine's or christmas obviously is a big one halloween don't wait until you know a month before have the stuff ready um, pitch it ahead of time get ahead of the game and there's there's a lot of other examples like that just have an idea of what is coming and it, as a you know, three examples i just said are only three there's lots more something that that gives you an opportunity to get ahead of the game long before but the one thing the one thing i would encourage you to do more of in combination with everything else but this one thing invest more time creating music and i realize that most of you a lot of you are already creating music and you just love it and you're churning it out and you're doing so much but what i see a lot of is people that think they need a course moreover spending time at their dock or they need a, you know coaching or that they need a piece of gear or they need anything other than spending time getting better making mistakes learning new things trying new approaches new miking techniques just things to make you better by doing but what i'm trying to say is if you want to have more success in the sync licensing production music industry spend more time on your craft rather than looking for a shortcut or you know a, a fast track to success work on getting better and, and creating better quality and better production value in your music that will excel you so much faster and i'll just say it again i think Putting all these things together is really important and will give you the best odds, the best chances. But that one thing, I think people put their time into all those other things I, I mentioned and they, they steal from the time they could be producing music and getting better at that craft and they put it into other areas thinking that that will get them ahead further when the truth is working on your craft and skill is what will get you further ahead it might take more time because that's what you invest but in the end you'll be grateful because the quality of your work will speak for itself thank you so much my friends for watching i hope you found some of that valuable um, if you give it thumbs up that would help me get this video out there and uh, it just it helps me grow the channel and create more content like this um, subscribe and if you haven't already followed me on social media i'd love to connect with you there um, and I just, I wish you the best, the absolute best and, um, you know, get at it. Cheers.